Hey everyone, it's Lisa. Happy Friday and happy beginning of the summer. Today is our first day. The kids had just half a day of school and um, so we're excited <laughs> that the summer is here. I love like the summer nights and I, I kind of miss like a little routine because I do, I thrive on a routine. But um, I don't miss that feeling at night, you know, knowing everything just has to be done by nine o'clock and all that stuff. So, and um, we just have so much fun together. So happy Friday. And um, I, you guys are gonna be disappointed in me. I did not do a lot of shopping this week because Brooke got out of school um, after exams. So every day I went and got her early and then Will had awards one day and it was just one of those weeks. Plus it was rainy, so I didn't really go a lot of places. But I did get some things. I got some gifts and I did order um, a fun pair of shoes um, that will be here soon. And I think I ordered a dress last weekend that I kept waiting to get from, I think it's from Gap. It was, you know, it was an email that came in and I ordered one. But um, anyway, so um, yesterday I got yet another package from my friend Denise. And if you're wondering, I know some are, some aren't, but I do send her packages back. <laughs> I sent her one yesterday. She sent me this and it was such a surprise and it is so pretty. I think so many of you are gonna love it, but it is the NARS Orgasm Liquid Blush. And I know I have seen it online somewhere because I did exactly what whoever it was I was watching did the same thing that I did this morning. I um, unscrewed it and then it comes out and it's just like a stick and then I realize it's a pump. So just take the lid off like that. And what I did is, let me see if I can zoom in. Isn't it pretty? I just love that light flush. I need to catch Brooke and um, before she finishes her makeup and see if she wants to use it. But anyway, um, what I did is, because I am always hesitant to use a, you know, liquid or cream blush because they sometimes will break up the coverage on my cheeks and that's almost, that is where I need it most. That's where I have broken capillaries and stuff like that. And so what I did is I put it on my hand and then I kind of did like this. And then I took my beauty blender that I used for my makeup and I did it and I just bounced it on, you know, over everything else I had used. And it was just beautiful. I mean, it's the sweetest, prettiest pink color. Thank you, Denise. She knows that I love it, but I just really, really like it. And I don't know if I would have bought this because I would have been scared that I wouldn't like it, but wow, it is so pretty. Then this is so special. I had one of my subscribers, Jackie, contact me and say that she watches my videos and that she had a belt that she was no longer wearing that was in Sex and the City and that she had heard me mention this belt and she wanted me to have it. And she sent it to me and I got it this week and oh, this is so special. It is this one. And for those of you that are junkies like me, you remember, I have, I pulled up the picture so that I can show you. It is so nice. I mean, it is, this is like a serious belt, but is that not the coolest thing? And um, I'll show you how it, in the, um, I mean, I could wear it with this, I guess, if I wanted to. And it just goes just like this and you just wear it with whatever she had it on with that pink dress like that oh it's just so pretty it makes such a big difference i really could wear it with this i might do that um i have on nude shoes but it, boy it would look good with like the black shoes anyway so thank you so much jackie this is so special in so many different ways when i um picked up brooke from school that day I showed it to Brooke and I said, that is, <laughs> and I didn't think about what I was saying. I said, that is the same belt that she wears in this picture. I was showing Brooke the picture. I said, literally the same one. And Brooke said, the same 
the literally the same one. I said, no, not literally the same one. I shouldn't have said that. I said, but the exact belt, you know, designer and everything. So that is, that was a real thrill when it's, it is. I'm going to love that forever. And then she sent me this, which I appreciated so much. This is the famous um, Annabelle Demure lip liner from Canada. And I love it. So um, I thought I might give this a try after I show you what else I have on. I um, was texting back and forth with Arielle Snyder, and she has a YouTube channel here on YouTube, of course, and I will put her link down below. And you'll have to excuse my trash men are coming by, which I, you know, I love the trash man. The trash man is right up there with the UPS and the FedEx man because we have the most trash ever, and they are so good. We chip them well, but they're good about, um, picking up our stuff. But anyway, I was talking to Arielle and she was telling me that she is selling um, beauty counter. And I have never known anybody to sell this, but um, I did buy the, um, I think a face tint at one of my local beauty salons. It's actually the like a blowout salon and they sell it. And um, it ended up being too, um, it would be better for someone with dry skin. It wasn't quite enough coverage and it was too, um, emollient for me and um, so I had kind of heard of the brand but um, so when she told me that I asked her what her favorites were and I ordered them so she loves the bronzer and I got that and today I just got it yesterday so today's the first day that I've used it and I've got a tickle right there on my eyebrow okay this is the lightest one matte bronzer number one and um, it's in like the eco-friendly type packaging, but this is what I have on today, and it is so pretty. It is so, it reminds me of the one that I love by Galactic. I believe that one's called Cabo. Um, it is very, it's almost like one of the chocolate bronzers, very creamy, just beautiful. I really like it. When she recommended it, I knew I would like it because I like her taste in bronzers and in makeup, period. Okay, and then the two lipsticks that she recommended that I get, Petal, and that's the one I have on now, and it is just one of those good all-around um, pinky lipsticks, but it's sheer. So I was thinking this might be a good alternative for those of you that don't usually like my lipstick choices. Um, maybe you think they're too much or you know too matte or something. This will be something different, and it's also something great for those of you that just like a gloss. Today, I put it on by itself first so I could just kind of gauge the color. And then I went around just a little bit because I can't help myself with um, Laura Mercier Plumberry Liner. Let me put it on fresh because I have been drinking. So you can see it's just a little tint of color. Really pretty and it feels really good. So the next one she said that she liked is um, twig and I believe she said this one looked great on her mom who wears this type of color so I'm gonna blot this and then we're gonna do another lip line, lip combo okay so let me zoom you in a little bit I'm gonna do the demure lip liner which is a good just nude Okay, that's a good one. Okay, and then this, I haven't tried this yet. This is the first time, Twig. I think I'm gonna like this even more than the petal, which I can't believe it. Boy, that feels good. Yep, I think this is more me. I like the petal, Brooke really liked it when I showed her. So let me back you out a little bit so you can see. So this is the twig with a demure lip liner. They're really nice. They're, you can tell they're quality products and I believe they're naturally based also. Yeah, sheer lipstick. Both of them are sheer lipsticks. And so that is it. So I'm gonna do a quick outfit of the day and then let you go enjoy your weekend. It's sunny here today for the first time all week. So it's just perfect to kick off the summer. So I'll be right back. Okay, so today I have on one of those dresses that I bought. Um, you know, a couple weeks ago and I wore a red one and then I showed you, I ended up buying, I bought the red one and the black one first and then I went back and bought this one 
a, which is a coral color, and then I bought the blue also because they fit well, they're comfortable, and they were a good price. And um, then the and then the shoes I have on are oldies but goodies. They're just some nude Stuart Weitzman, um, kind of like clogs or slip-on sandals. And um, so this is it for the day. Okay, and then for accessories, I have on my um, favorite hoops in the polished gold, my necklace from Oliver. Um, I have on my bubbles ring and um, the ring that my, here, show you up close. And then my parents got me that ring um, I believe for my birthday, a made ring that they bought, gold ring. And then I got my nails done, and this is an SE color. It's not Playdate. Some of you may know what it is. I cannot remember the name of it. I should have looked. But I had Playdate on my toes last time I had my toes done. This Now I have a blue color. But... Um, Anyway, I love purple on the hands and the toes. It's just kind of like a fun, neutrally type color. To be, to be such a color, it's kind of neutral. And um, so I'm not sure what this is, but it is the like gel polish. And that is it. So I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Um, put any video ideas down below. I do have a favorites video coming up. And um, I will probably do that either this weekend or next week. And so I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.